I got this Echo 30 trimmer, which has a blade on the end for edging from a guy who said he went out to start it one spring and it wouldn't run. I drained the old fuel out of it and I think this is a typical problem that many of you run into, whether mid-season or the beginning of the season after it's been sitting. So we'll walk through it together. I don't know exactly what's wrong with it, but we'll check it out and hopefully you'll learn how to get yours going. Let's do it! First thing I did was drain the old fuel out of the tank. And a word of advice, if you're not gonna use this for longer than a month, drain the old fuel out, start it up, run the fuel out of the carburetor, that'll save you 90% of your problems. So let's go ahead and put some fresh two cycle gas in here and see if it'll start. Want to take the air filter out, check that, see if that's all clogged up. It's not bad. Choke lever's working. Primer bulb's not cracked. And it's filling up. You see the fuel in there? Great sign. That means our fuel filter's probably okay. It's pulling fuel out of the tank and it's pushing it into the carburetor. Next, we'll flip the switch on and see if we can get it to start. Choke on. Go half choke. No choke. That's not good. Let's take the carburetor off, do a quick cleaning, put that back on and we'll check the fuel filter and see if that takes care of our problem. While this is still warm, I took the spark plug out and we'll go ahead and check for spark. Sometimes when these get warm, the coil will quit and that's a typical sign that they're starting to go bad. So we'll go ahead and check for spark. You have to touch the base of this to metal. So I'm going to put this socket extension in here so I got metal to metal. And rest that on there and we'll check for spark. Make sure you turn the switch to on, the kill switch if you have one. There we go. We got, we've got spark. Good spark. First thing I'm going to do is grab the fuel line down in there and pull that out and check the filter. There she is. Off with the old filter. I just wanted to show you these filters. Your filter can look like it's clean, and you can even clean that, but you pull this off, there's a little clip that holds that on, and inside this filter is a real fine screen. So if you get bad fuel in there, that little screen can clog up, and that can stop your whole machine. So that could be it. We'll put a new filter on, and clean the carb real quick and we'll be set to go. So off with the old and on with the new. Beautiful. And that could have been the problem. Maybe you don't need to take the carburetor off. I would start with that. But it doesn't take long to pull the carburetor off, so I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick. Give it a quick cleaning, 
and we'll try to start it up. Okay, to remove this, first we'll release the throttle cable. I'm pulling the throttle now, and all you do is hold the throttle here, the throttle body, release the th hand throttle, and you can lift that up and release it. Now that releases that. Next, we'll unscrew the air filter housing, which also holds the carburetor against the uh, engine. Just these two screws, and that releases that. Releases our carburetor. And we've got our two fuel lines. You want to pay attention to these fuel lines. That shorter one feeds the carburetor, and the longer one is connected to this primer bulb. You don't want to hook those up backwards. Otherwise, you're not, your engine's not going to run. Now one thing I want to show you on this particular Zama carburetor is when you take this apart to clean it and you take this throttle body off, there's a little roller in here that sits on the pin and you don't want to lose that. Let's see if I can get it off. It'll, it'll just fall off if you take that out and clean it. There it is right there. And that sits right on that pin. You can see how tiny this thing is. It sits right on that roller pin there. I got it sitting on top. And you just want to press that down. And that's in. You don't want to lose that. Other than that, it's just a basic carburetor cleaning. Okay, now we know we have spark. We've got a fresh fuel filter in there, and we've gone through the carburetor and cleaned that all up and got the bad fuel out. We'll go ahead and fuel it up with fresh two cycle fuel. Make sure you mix that gas with the two cycle oil, otherwise, you'll burn up the engine. And then we'll see if we can get it started. And there's the high side adjustment right there. The low side adjustment screw is down in this hole. Your carburetor will probably have a plastic plug that needs to be removed to be able to adjust that. Click on the link at the top right corner to see how to do that. And if you want to see how to adjust a two-cycle carburetor on a weed eater, trimmer, blower, edger, hedge trimmer, click on the link in the top right corner.
this video is a help to you, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing. And I look forward to helping you with other projects online.